Okay, we are here at uh, Benzinga at the Fountain Blue Miami Beach, and we are here with Christine Smith, and she's going to talk to us a little bit about her company, which is called? Groon. Groon. <laughs> and tell us about Groon. So Groon is an edible company. We started in Oregon. Uh -huh. We're an MSO, multi-state operator in the edible um, category. Um, we are now operating um, across five states in Canada, mm. Oregon, Arizona, Nevada, Missouri, Oklahoma, um, and throughout Canada. Um, we are entirely self-funded, so we have managed our growth entirely ourselves, um, profitable. Um, we offer product lines with gummies, chocolates, and then a line called Pips that are like M&Ms that okay. are amazing. And, uh, um, yeah, we've seen really explosive growth the last few years um, and are continuing on a trajectory of world domination. <laughs> you know, don't write that. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so we're, we are, um, we're opening three more markets this year, okay. um, um, which is about the, the path that we feel really comfortable with sustainable growth, yeah. um, moving into the East Coast markets. And, uh, how, have yeah. you, how have you expanded? So, I mean, you're going to Canada, you're going yeah. to all these states. Like, is that, is that a lot well, of work? Started, or? Sure, but I, start, I, mean, I started in 2015, so okay. I've been going a long time. You've been in the game. So I've been in the game a long time. We didn't really start expanding until 2020, 21. Okay. So we've, we've, we've spent a COVID. long time. Yeah, during COVID. That was not Weird. intentional, I know. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we spent, it's been, you know, it's, it's been a lot, but it's been, um, you know, coming out of Oregon, which is a really oversaturated yeah. market, has been, um, has really, and I feel like, has given us an edge. Um, so we, we've become really, really good marketers, and we've become really, really, we have a lot of sharp tools in our toolbox to compete yeah. in some of these markets that are... You have to be. Yeah. 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 So it's been really interesting. So uh, why do you think edibles are so popular? Because I'm actually a, an edible person. I prefer edibles. Yeah. You know, I smoke flour every once in a while. Pre-rolls are cool, but just my jam is kind of edibles. And I'm seeing a lot more, like, attention to detail and high quality yeah. going into edibles. Why do you think... Uh, well, I think lots of reasons. They're discreet, mm -hmm. right? So there's a discreet factor... There's, I think it's it, it, for newbies. It's a, it's it, you're, you can trick yourself into thinking yeah. it's not cannabis, right? Yeah. So it's a real, I hate the word gateway, but it yeah. is a gateway into it. Um, and and there's there's consistency, right? If they're done right, you're getting high quality. You're getting consistency and targeted dose for a specific um, uh, dilemma that you're looking to solve, yeah. right? Whatever that is, sleep, yeah. focus. Um, calmness, whatever that is. So people are able to, you know, there's targeted effects and it's harder to do that repeatedly, particularly across states yeah. um, with other form factors of cannabis. So edibles are, not, there you go. Not to <laughs> mention like they taste good. Like some good. of them actually yeah. taste good. Yeah. Like, you know, I think maybe back in the day you used to get an edible and you didn't really care, you know, what it tasted like. Yeah. It was just either in gummy form or chocolate or whatever. And you just kind of with it now, they're almost like gourmet. They're, they're really good. There's a lot. I mean, we're doing a lot of things. It, it, yeah. I mean, there's, there's, there's flavor enhancers that you uh -huh. can do. Then there's also flavor hide, hiding mechanisms between bitter blockers and um, citrusy flavors and, um, you know, there's a lot of things that we play with, um, with our products that, that help a mask the flavor, you know, and then there's also new technologies with the, with the cannabis extraction itself that are pulling, be able to pull the flavor out of it. So it's really amazing. And you feel like, uh, the experience is a little bit different, like eating it versus smoking it? it for sure. Yeah. For sure. Cause your liver processes it differently, right? Right. So it's, so it's going through your liver. It's going to hit a little bit different. Same way that chocolate actually hits differently than a gummy. Because one is fat and one sugar, yeah. so your body processes it just the way it processes fat and sugar differently, um, metabolizes it differently. Yeah. So see, now we're getting into the cannabis and tech. Yeah. Getting into the science. Yeah. Um, so tell us about the mega. The mega. The mega. The mega. So we. So you know, it's interesting. Is we just like everybody else in the gummy in the gummy yeah arena um, has a ten piece gummy, uh -huh. um, which are, you know, little balls or little pieces. And I think it was 2020, 21, yeah. 21, that we were looking at the Oregon market. And, and, um, I think it was our sales team that came up with it and said, regular, these are oh. the sugar. So the, the mega is one, 
Yeah. You have, you know, been looking at it. But the Mega, anyway, it's a single, it's a single, it's a way to actually do a single, come in a box like that. There yeah. is a, I don't know if I have a Mega in here, I may not. But, um, I'm scared. <laughs> anyway, a Mega looks like this. It's yeah. a giant, it's a gumball. got one in here those are the pips the candy but the mega that's uh -huh. the girl it's the mega is a giant one it's a gumball size it's that big okay and it's 100 milligrams okay um and the whole idea is you're still getting it's like taking a coke and getting it in two liter passing, yeah passing the value onto the consumer yeah and when we first did this you know it's kind of it's like keep it simple stupid yeah and we thought well people is this going to cannibalize this product and what it actually did was it brought an entirely new new clientele of people that are value shoppers mm -hmm. that wouldn't spend $20, but they'll spend $7 or $8. Yeah. And so we brought it in and what we saw is we, we tripled our revenue overnight by bringing in an additional wow. taste of taking this and then just putting it in a form factor. So it, it is, it's the two liter, right? You're, yeah. You're buying the big gulp instead of, makes, instead of buying that, right? It makes, it makes perfect, perfect sense. sense. So you're yeah. getting the same quality. Yeah. It's a true value. We're yeah. not cheapening you know, we're not taking it to cheaper ingredients or anything. You're just getting it at a value. So um, that was the mega, yeah. and uh, we came out of that we are now we are now making over a million megas a month. Wow. We are we blow through. This is the the highest volume product. It's it's seventy percent of the units we produce for forty percent of the revenue. So most of our revenue comes from our ten piece, but the number of of, of it is a market disruptor. And it is so fun, and it is a consumer of today. Yeah, this is this is a f more future consumer when you look at it. That's that has that's willing to. This is the twenty dollar bottle of wine. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This is the this is the three duck chuck. <laughs> that is so cool. Um, and so we've have we have had a lot of fun playing with that, and we're yeah. about to enter Mega May. Um, which Mega May is, is a, you know, there's 420 is in April, it's yeah. a holiday. And we came up kind of as a play as like, well, let's, let's carry this forward into May. Yeah. So we have Mega May and we run really fun promotions on Megas, um, buy four, get four, just pushing them out. So it really wow. is a, it's a, it's a big brand push. Um, so how did you guys come up with the idea for this? Were you guys sitting around in a, in like a, a meeting and yeah. someone was like, I've someone got an idea. Like, they were like, what if we made a giant one and we called it the Mega Pearl? So that's where, yeah. They're like, well, how will we do that? We're like, do you think, call the mold people, see if they could make a mold. Yeah. yeah. And so we called them, we're like, how big, how big, and they had never done it before. Yeah. And so it's, it's the molds are <laughs> like big. And they, yeah. Like how big? Like a, like a golf ball? Like it's a, a, you it's said like, gumball. It's a gumball. It's like okay. that, it's that size. I mean, it's the size of a gumball. Yeah. It's 20 grams. So it's, um, okay. There, this is 35 grams. So it's about half the gummy weight. And do people like nibble on it? Or like, cause well, some people probably. Exactly. Yeah. Some people eat several a day. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm one of those like a half yeah, and, me too. and I'm like pretty yeah. chill, me too. right? Five milligrams, but there's some people yeah. like, oh, I do a hundred milligrams. I don't fill yeah. anything. Yeah. I'm like, wow. Yeah. And those are, and there's a there's a real customer base for that. 100%. I mean, and that's probably seventy percent. The consumers, most of the consumers that are going into dispensaries and shopping, yeah. are going multiple times a week. Sure, they're really invested and they're high mm -hmm. users. Um, and it's a you know, and those are those are the people that are driving the dollars. Yeah, um, that are happening, and it's a product that is really just created for that customer. Wow. So well, that's yeah. amazing. That um, sounds really really cool. You've created. I, can't a I don't have any. We have some yeah, back in our in our I, room down the hall. I, I was like, I'm a lot of medicas in my house, so but this is the megaverse that they're creating for mega may oh, oh yeah so, so cool. this year so talk about tech yeah. yeah okay so tech yes. so <laughs> this year for mega may we are taking we are taking consumers on an adventure uh -huh. so across our three major markets here with oregon arizona and and missouri are participating and we are teaming up with eight different retailers would they get to pick one of their best locations yeah and that we are sending these consumers on a on a quest yeah over the month to go to each one of them, and if they buy four, they get four for free, and they get their card stamped. Uh, and each like of these retailers, a scavenger hunt, is a different mega. Uh -huh. And then they have to go to all of these different eight retailers, and at the end, if they submit this card, they win a prize, and they get entered into a drawing to win an Oculus. And we're giving away eight Oculuses per market, and then we have designers, yeah. some that are designing a megaverse, so coming comes that comes in so you can get high, eat yeah. the megas, and then go on an adventure okay. into space. Now see this is super cannabis and techie. <laughs> yeah, so th that's yeah. that's what the megaverse looks like. Oh so my god. 
yeah, those are different versions of what's being developed by our... So you and I will be able to access it as well because we'll be able to use... Um, we can enter into the giveaway, a separate one, for yeah. like online. So you can view it from your phone or from your yeah. computer. You and ultimately, need, there'll be an app. Yeah. yeah you don't need the Oculus. So and cool. you can download it on your own Oculus if you wanted to. Yeah. Wow. So, well, that is great. Isn't that fun? Yeah. yeah. No, I love so. it. That's super cool. And not only do you guys have this great product, but you've even figured out a way to sort of activate it. And, you yeah. know, like... 420 gets so chaotic and noisy yeah. and it is like almost impossible to break through the noise yeah. you guys are like screw that we're just gonna take the next month and we're gonna make that right. ours mega that's right. that's right that's exactly right yeah it's good that's exactly right that is really and really the retailers good. are really into it too because yeah. they because they've got you know lethargy after after april yes. right so they're looking for the next thing and so it, it brings in it it's really it's really fun they're all really excited you know it's hard to go into established states that mm-hmm. already have really solid i mean we can yeah but we could also more easily go into new markets and just own right. them um are you just out of curiosity because the next gentleman i'm getting ready to interview he's in missouri we and missouri is i was amazing. just gonna ask are, uh, yeah. tell me about missouri missouri is fantastic we love that market it's uh it's on track to be our biggest market of all. Um, we are number two in the market right now um, in Missouri, and uh, I think we have almost a million dollars of, of back orders right now that are waiting to go out. But yeah, we love Missouri, love the people there. Love yeah. The, love, everything about it is fantastic. We just love the market. Are there any other emerging markets that you're excited about? Yeah, New Jersey, Maryland. Mm-hmm. Um, those in particular are really, we're really excited about those this year. Yeah. Um, and uh, um, Illinois is yeah. also yeah. interesting to us too. I know it's a, it's kind of there, but there's some a bunch of new licenses coming on board, which kind of shakes things up yeah. from the from the dominated MSO. Yeah, right yeah, now. I know who you're talking about. Are you uh, are you guys in Michigan? We're not in Michigan. Okay. We looked at Michigan and we looked really closely, and then we ran away. Yeah, as fast as we could. <laughs> yeah, I'm just asking because we were talking. There was a bunch of Michigan people at lunch, and yeah. I was like, "So what's going on in Michigan?" And oh. yeah, it's so it's crazy how different it is. Out, yeah. But yeah, right. Yeah. Like market to market. Yeah, I mean, it's an open market. It's a free market, and it's um, you know these limited license states. Um, yeah, are, really are you in Oklahoma? Kind of, we are in Oklahoma. Okay, too. <laughs> it's a wild, wild west, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> If you'd like to learn more about emerging cannabis technologies, be sure to like this podcast and subscribe to Cannabis Tech Talks. You can pick up the most recent issue of Cannabis and Tech Today on Barnes & Noble newsstands across the country, or grab a copy for free on canatechtoday.com. This podcast is produced in part by Pretty Easy Podcasts. Visit prettyeasypodcasts.com if you're looking for professional production quality at an affordable rate. Until next time, stay elevated. Hey, hello, I'm Tommy Chong from Cheech and Chong. Wait, you didn't think people would know who I am? Durachill. This is Durachill. This is Durachill. This is Durachill. No, hey, I don't talk like that. You want me to sell this? Buy it. Try Durachill or else. If you want something really nice in your laboratory, buy Durachill. You can't go wrong. This show was produced by Cannabis Tech Today and Pretty Easy Podcasts. Go to prettyeasypodcast.com now if you're looking to get professional production help on your own podcast at an affordable rate. Pretty Easy Podcasts, making podcasting pretty easy.